Welcome to another daily live webcast called GenCast, the daily live show that happens Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern here on YFELive.com. Today's show is Try It Tuesday. Every Tuesday we try something new, and today's particular Try It Tuesday is confession time, something I've tried already, something I've actually been using for a little over a year now and love. It's called Trello. It is a organize your life, improve your productivity, work better with teams type of application. So I'm really excited because we're going to be talking about that today. We're going to actually be trying it out live here on video. I've got both my iPad, my iPhone, I've got the desktop up because one of the nice things about Trello is that it all syncs between all of your devices, all of your time, all of your team in real time. And we have Ben on from Trello who let's go ahead and bring him straight on because we have a lot to talk about Trello because like I said, I'm a huge fan. Uh, so Ben, thank you so much for joining us hey there all right tell us a little bit about yourself because you have an interesting title um it's ben mccormick and uh what what is your title exactly (laughs) that's kind of funny i i've shortened my title to just be service um i was hired to do uh support for our other products at fog creek software and i've been doing uh trello support for the past year and i've actually handed off uh the the everyday part of Trello support uh, to somebody else, but I still engage with customers a lot in conversations like this. Um, and I frequently host uh, feedback sessions and one-on-ones with customers to try to figure out how we can serve our customers better. So I'm, I guess I'm in a position where I'm constantly looking to engage Trello customers one-on-one to get feedback to the team so we can, so we can learn more about how our customers are using Trello. Nice. And so what exactly is Trello? Because like I said, I use it to organize my life, organize business, everything. I Trello is, if I did not have it today, if you guys took it away or did something to it, I might crumble. That's how much <laughs> I love it. So, so Ben, what is Trello? How do you describe it to people that haven't, haven't used it yet? That's a great question. And it's one that we probably should spend more time as a team figuring out how to answer. <laughs> the way the way I like to answer that is if you imagine you have a, a cork board or a whiteboard and you're gonna put um, note cards on that board and you have different columns that represent um, either different steps in a process or different groups of ideas. And you just wanna be able to move those cards from one place to another. And then if you wanna pick up a card and write on the back of it, then you can do that. Um, and you can write your notes there and then you can collaborate with others. That's essentially what it is, but it's on the internet and it's on your mobile devices. Um, we've had people tell us that whiteboards that they've used for a decade have, they, people have stopped using them now because they've been able to use Trello and it just totally replaces that entire process. Well, see, and what I like about Trello is that it is so simple that you can make it whatever it is that you want it to be. Because I've used a number of productivity management um, or uh, project management tools in the past where they have it set to their system. It's like um, they were they were sitting around as a team and said, let's put our the way that we mon- manage this project, that we manage our to-do list, and we're going to put it into software. Well, not everyone is going to be able to adopt that. And so what Trello has done is exactly what you've said. It's this blank card. You're able to fill it out with whatever. It reminds me of um, in college, I student taught for a while before I decided teaching was a horrible path to go <laughs> on. Um, but I student taught with uh, someone who had like those clear plastic things in elementary schools. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like a clear pouches where you can move the card from from place to place and use different color markers. And it was all really cutesy. And that's exactly what Trello does for me, but in a (laughs) a nicer, more grown up way. So Mm -hmm. why exactly, uh, what type of people use Trello? Is this primarily teams? Because one of the nice things that I use it for is communicating with uh, my two business partners. And then also we have a sea of hosts that are also part of that, that I can put people on cards, take them off. So do you see people working primarily with teams or are they more solo on Trello? Um, we see both. We see both teams and individual and individuals use Trello, but our target is really teams. Um, if people use Trello successfully by themselves, then that's wonderful. Um, but we're not. We haven't designed the product with individual users in mind. There are already a ton of individual to-do apps and productivity apps out there, um, and that's not a space we really felt we could succeed in. Our our background was. Um, we have another product called Fogbugs. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a project management tool for software developers. And so we have a 
big history in collaborative project management. Um, and so Trello was our way of kind of coming up with a, a horizontal tool that anybody could use. So we started in kind of the tech world. That's where we launched. We launched at uh, TechCrunch Tech Crunch Disrupt. And I think it was uh, 2011. Um, that's where we launched. So we were very, very heavy in the tech world for a while. And then just as people used it, they would just invite other people to board. So maybe you would have somebody at a tech company would use it at work and they would go home and get their neighborhood association to use it. And then somebody there would take that into their business. And so everybody kind of, everybody who uses it kind of figures out a way to adapt it to their workflow and to, and to their team's culture. Well, and I'm showing my iPhone right now and this is my personal Trello. Um, so you guys are seeing a little sneak peek of how I use it. And I have a young female entrepreneurs board too that is totally public so you can actually go in and see some of the fun features. Um, but the book club, you can see here, I have Trello Gold. So Trello, like you said, is totally free. So if someone is using it for work and they want to get their community in it, um, there, I mean, it's not a huge jumping off point. It's not like you have to invest $50 per user a month in order to bring someone on. Oh, that's right. Totally free. Uh, yeah, the rest of my, the team is going to fire me for not mentioning that it's totally free. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Trello uh, is free. There are a few paid features, but um, yeah, it's like you said, you don't have to. There's there's really zero upfront cost to get, um, I guess, what we call the magic of Trello to start experiencing the collaboration. Um, you you can add as many users as you want, as many boards as you want, as many cards on a board as you want, as many attachments as you want. Um, it's pretty unlimited in that regard. So you know if you start up your book club and then at first it's just a reading list for you, and then it's as simple as adding, uh, add inviting somebody by email address, or if they're already on Trello, just looking them up, uh, looking up. Um, them by name and adding them to a board and then you're collaborating and sharing and you can comment on cards and communicate back and forth. Well, and one of the things that really um, that uh, brought me into the whole Trello world and where I really adopted it was, you know, part of it was that it was totally free and it was so easy to get started. Um, it was a little intimidating when you first open it up and it's this blank board. I think you guys mm -hmm. even have maybe an example of how you could use it and there's like the do, doing, done columns, but there's so much that you can customize. So the one thing I would encourage people to do if you are opening Trello up for the first time is to give it time and to, you know, start playing with it a little bit, change things. I have like actual Trello days where I color code things and I am, I'm so obsessive about Trello that I make lists in Trello of lists that I have in my Erin Condren day planner. And I know I'm not alone as a young female entrepreneur. I know a lot of us make lots of lists. So, um, but anyway, going back to uh, getting started with Trello, um, uh, I forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really easy to get started. Um, and uh, one of the things, okay, sorry. One of the things that really held my adoption was that um, email. I can't stand email. Something about email that I, I'm not alone. I know that for sure in it. And one of the things that has helped me with my inbox and deal with email is that I take everything out of my email and put it into Trello. So each Trello card you're able to attach documents to. You can attach it directly from Google Drive and Dropbox. And it's all really easy to do. Uh, so is there any other features? Because I mean, now that we're getting into what you can actually do with Trello, uh, the fun things like uh, the ninja tricks like I was talking about at the beginning of the show, uh, keyboard shortcuts, power ups. I mean, what are some really fancy things that we can do with this? Because like I said, you open it up, it's, it's a blank screen and you're like, what the heck? What should I, I think, do next? <laughs> like for the for the brand new user, keyboard shortcuts probably aren't something you're going to be um, reaching for out of the bag, unless you use keyboard shortcuts in every other app, in which case you're going to expect them to be there, and they're there. And I think it's just uh, the question mark. If you hit uh, question mark in Trello, it should just load up a list of keyboard well, you shortcuts. You know what my favorite keyboard shortcut is? Is the labels one, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Yes. Mm -hmm. I use that all the time. Yes, okay. I use that all the time. Use spacebar to add yourself to a card. Use C to close a card. Um, oh, I didn't so, know C. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I guess, it used to be, uh, we used to call archiving a card closing a card. So it used to be uh, A would archive a card. No, C would close a card. 
close a card, close, and mm -hmm. then uh, then when we changed it to archive, we tried to shift up our keyboard shortcuts, but they ended up messing a lot of people up, so we switched them back. So there's a little bit of a disconnect between the names of some of the keyboard shortcuts and what the actual letters are. Um, but <laughs> once you get used to it, it's not so bad. So yeah, you hit C, and that'll archive cards. Um, and that's really, I use that all the time. When I have a list and I'm just going through and going, nope, not going to do that, not going to do that, not going to do that, or, you know, that's done, that's done, that's done. And then they just disappear from my board, um, and I don't look at them anymore. And I think going along with, um, with the keyboard shortcuts for labels, I use, um, you, you use labels for all kinds of things. And the, the, the first feature request you are going to have when you start using Trello is, can I have more than six of them? Um, probably in the future. Uh, I don't want to hint at any definitive features that are up and coming, but I've seen some mock-ups for some very good, like, more label features. And I know that's something that people have asked for. When you add labels, um, I have a board for my own, it's kind of like an aggregate board. I kind of maintain all of the little personal cards that I have across all the various different projects I, I work on at Fall Creek Software. And I'll label the, the those cards by what I'm working on this week or previous week. So I kind of rotate them out. So this week would be the week of February 3rd. And I'll label them and then I'll I'll use filters on the board to only view the cards that I'm working on this week. I do that week. too. Oh my gosh. I love filters and labels. So I'm able to see only the yellow ones that I have I'm waiting on or green ones that I'm doing now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, a great it, idea. It, yeah, it's 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 it's. I mean, I think a lot of people find that, and you can filter by the cards assigned to you if you're working on a collaborative board. Um, I mean, one of the really powerful yet simple features of Trello is that it enables you to see an entire project at a glance. You are um, that's. I mean, there's so many database type systems where you you get all the individual tasks in a database and you see them in a list, and and it feels great to have it all in there. But then what do you do with it all? How do you how do you visualize all of that stuff that you just put in? And Trello is that visualization. Um, but within that, sometimes there are still too many things on the page at one time. And so filtering allows you to just get down and see just what you're going to work on next or what's in your immediate uh, your immediate responsibility. And then you can work from there. And I use that uh, every day. I go through and I look at you know just the stuff I said I was going to work on this week and um, really helps me out. Well, and again, like I'm saying, uh, there's a few people that are on the group that are talking about using it with other users, and I've never had an issue. Um, I'm always very uh, aware of bringing other people into a, a, a tool or application that I use personally, and if they're going to actually use it, that type of a thing, if it's going to cost them money. And I've never had any issues with bringing people in Trello. I mean, people join and they actually use it because it's that easy. It's very accessible, too. Um, so uh, along with that, I wanted to just mention a couple of fun ways that I use Trello, and that's in planning our shows. So with this show, I plan it in Trello. Um, and then our Winning Wednesday headline show, I uh, compile a list of of articles and usually I'm a mom of a toddler and so I'm very I'm not behind my desk very often mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of people can relate to that and so I'm on my phone looking through things and if I find an article I'm interested in sharing with the group I email it to my Trello email uh, card contact so that you can actually rather than having three different applications on your phone for like keeping um, keeping uh, articles like that pocket application I don't use that anymore because I just store it. I email them directly over to Trello and I can even move them from board to like red or um, keep this or share this, that type of a thing. So it's just, it makes social media really easy in that way. And it also makes it easier as a business owner to archive certain pieces of information that are important. So um, is there anything else that we should know about Trello, Ben? Um, anything that's maybe coming up in the future that we should get excited about? Yes, um, yeah, I guess some of the some of the other things that you might look at is if you're a um, if you're a business owner and you are getting on board with Trello, um, one of the ways that we're supporting Trello is through business class. So business class is, is a way for organizations to um, kind of have some additional management features in Trello, and that's we're actually working on new business class features right now. Um, 
I'm not sure exactly what we're shipping. <laughs> I have to go ask ask the rest of the team uh, what we're working on. We're just getting into the beginning phase of deciding exactly what features we want to ship uh, within the next iteration. But the thinking is, thinking there is um, once you've committed to Trello with your organization, and to be sure, you don't need business class to get a ton of value out of Trello already. But if you're in a position where, for example, somebody leaves your organization and you want to make sure that they no longer have access to the to the company's resources, it's it's easier to do that with business class. Still possible with the free version. It's just we've added some tooling to make that a little bit easier. Um, for individual users who want to, uh, who are fans of Trello and want to add a little bit more support to it, you can be a Trello Gold user. Um, you can get free Trello Gold just by inviting somebody else to use Trello. So if you add somebody to a board and they've never used Trello, once they join, you'll get free Trello, uh, Trello Gold. And that lets you do things like add uh, board backgrounds, custom emoji, um, uh, you can add uh, custom stickers to cards. Um, I really like the stickers. I have certain cards that I use all the time, and it's nice to have like a little gold star on them or something. Yeah, it's just a little, a little bit, a little bit more like personalization, self-expression. We love to use uh, sticker combinations to try to communicate uh, a message. So, like our, <laughs> I think our. Um, there's a gold taco sticker. So we had like when we were talking about like the latest Trello gold feature or um, business class features, we we're talking about how we were going to make, you know, more gold, more, more money with business class eventually <laughs> <laughs> by, by making it an even more desirable product. So we put more like Trello gold taco stickers on there. Um, but yeah, so there's Trello gold. Um, for, for that kind of thing, that's only five bucks five bucks a month uh, if you run out of the the free stuff, and um, it's a great kind of uh, yeah, just a way to help boards be a little bit different. You know, um, I like I kind of feel like when I'm starting a new board that I want to collaborate with others on, I'll spend a lot of time trying to pick the perfect board background and. <laughs> <laughs> It just kind of like it feels like yeah it is a time waste but it you know it's fun. It is fun. See and I'm showing off the little stickers here. It's something about Trello that I feel like I'm coloring on almost and it's just really <laughs> um I don't know. It's a professional tool, I promise everyone, but it's still really fun and just uh, very aesthetically pleasing. So, Ben, where can everyone find out more about Trello, get started? Is there any awesome resources that we should be looking to as far as learning more about the keyboard shortcuts and power apps? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to Trello.com is the uh, place to get started. That's where you can uh, sign up for your account, dig through the, there's a kind of a tour, which will go go over a lot of what we talked about today. Um, and there's also help.trello.com. It's a it's a constant work in progress, uh, but there are some getting start uh, getting started articles. There's a getting started section there, and that's going to point out some for one some very very basic content that's going to kind of walk you through, hold your hand through what Trello is and how to get started. Um, and then there are some links to some. Um, Power user blog articles that we wrote a couple months ago. So we started to write. We've got up to three now, and they kind of hi highlight the the little known features of Trello, the things that you may not notice right out of the box when you first sign in. Nice. Well, Ben, thank you so much for joining us today. It's so nice to talk to you and to get um, my Trello geekiness out there to everyone. Uh, so I really Thanks appreciate. Thanks so much it. for having me. All right, everyone. So you've been watching Ben McCormick. He's the um, customer evangelist support everything under the moon over at <laughs> trello i'm uh, really really grateful that he was able to come on live with us hopefully you'll all check out trello it's just trello.com and let me know what you think if you're already using it and you have a really cool way of using it that other young female entrepreneurs should know about make sure that you share it below this video in the comments otherwise thank you so much for watching live we're live monday through friday at 10 a.m pacific 1 p.m eastern and the best way to find out more about young female entrepreneurs is to join at yfe.me forward slash mailed it. It's of course free. And uh, this has been Jennifer Dono. I'm the host of GenCast. You can tweet me at Jennifer Dono. Thank you all so much again. Have a fantastic Try It Tuesday.